You say socialism is impossible in a technical sense. Now, what exactly do you mean by that? Socialism assumes that all the available knowledge can be used by a single central authority. It overlooks that the modern society, which I now prefer to call the extended order, which exceeds the perception of any individual mind, is based on the utilization of widely dispersed knowledge. And once you are aware that we can achieve great utilization of available resources only because we utilize the knowledge of millions of men, it becomes clear that the assumption of socialism that the central authority in command all this knowledge is just not correct. Socialism uh, protesting against the production for profit and not for use objects to what makes the extended society possible. Production for use is only possible in a society where we know all the facts. But to achieve the situation where we are all working for people whom we do not know and are being supported by the work of people we do not know is made possible because we produce for profit. Profit is a signal which tells us what we must do in order to serve people whom we do not know. In fact, you can produce enough for us to maintain the present population of the world only because of a spontaneous process or mechanism which enables you to make use of infinitely more information than any central authority possesses.